Hello and welcome. Today we are going to look at data from 30 NBA teams and more than 600 NBA players. And we are going to do some analysis to compare performance of various NBA teams. And also we are going to compare performances of NBA players during a season. So let's get started. We can start by copy pasting quotes available from the link below. We will need basketball analyzer package. So first we'll compare team performances from 2017-2018 season. And if you look at the structure of this data, you can see that there are 30 observations, which means there are 30 teams and there are 23 variables. Those 23 variables are listed below. From this data, we are going to select some specific columns that we are interested in. So I'm going to use 1, 4, 9, 12, 15, 16. So column 1 is team name, 4 is points and so on. So after running this, if you look at data, you can see which columns have been pulled. So team points and then you have P2P which is percentage of two point shots made. Similarly, there is a percentage of three point shots made and then percentage of free throws made. There is also column for offensive rebound. So we may not use all the columns. Let's look at the next code. So in this plot, we will be using four different uh, metrics. So we are going to save labels in LABS where on the X axis we'll have percentage two point shots made on Y axis we'll plot percentage three point shots made and then we will use color of the points for percentage free throws made. We are also going to use size of the circles to indicate how many points were made. So using that uh, now we can make a bubble plot and on the x-axis you can see two point percentage on y-axis we have three point percentage and color is percentage free throws size is going to be points so you can see performance of all 30 nba teams during 2017 2018 season is plotted here so if you look at uh, this box here so those teams that are in this box indicate they had high two point percentage shots made as well as high three point percentage shots made. And in fact, uh, Golden State Warrior had a outstanding performance in that season. Teams in this quadrant uh, did not have a great season. Let's modify this code to get some more insights about team performance. I'm going to copy paste the above code. So let me run structure of box data once more. I will use only 1, 9, 12, 15 and then put a comma here and enter and create a new column for my data and I'm going to call that APS assists per shot attempt. So in the numerator I'm going to put number of assists. So I'll start with T box and then use AST which is for assists. This divided by within the T box two point attempts. So P2A and then P3A three point attempts and then FTA for free throw attempts. So basically APS is going to be a new variable. We can run this. So if you look at data now last column is APS which we have created. Let's put assists per shot attempt on the fourth item which is size of the bubble. So we can store these names in labs. We change size to APS and run. If you want to increase name of the teams we can use text dot size. So let's use four. So now we have slightly bigger names. Clearly Golden State Warriors has the biggest circle which means assist per shot attempt was the highest for this team. So Golden State Warriors basically played like a team and made lot of assists and that was one of the reasons for their success. 
and red color means that they had very high percentage of free throws made also they were far ahead of all other teams in percentage two points made and percentage three points made now let's uh, make these bubble plots for players for players we are going to use p box so there are 605 observations that means there are 605 players in this list and then there are several performance related metrics so if needed we can change name to data and then take a subset so i'm selecting uh, players only from boston celtics and only those players that had more than 500 minutes during the season so you can see list of these 12 players who meet that criteria and then i'm selecting some specific columns for plotting and then the labels and then we can have the plot you can see that in terms of percentage three point shots made jason tatum is ahead of others and it was the first season for him he was a rookie in 2017 2018 and pink color also indicates that he had a high percentage of free throws made and size of the circle indicates number of points he made during the season jalen brown although he made lot of three points and also two points but this blue color indicates that he was slightly behind on percentage free throws made so let's copy paste this code and modify so that we can compare players from two teams so this is the data and we are going to compare celtics players with golden state warriors so this vertical line means team could be celtics or so it could be either of the two teams and minimum minutes played is 500 so let's run this you can see immediately number of players come down to 35 from 605 and you can see which players are included from these two teams we will use the same columns and we'll keep these labels so now you can see that light green color is for golden state warrior players and red color is for boston celtic players and clearly in the fourth quadrant we have a lot of players from golden state warriors it indicates that they had high percentage of two point shots made as well as high percentage of three point shots made compared to players from celtics who are mostly in this quadrant another key difference uh, you will notice is total number of points made by golden state warrior players like steph curry or kevin durant they made a lot of points and the color is towards pink which means that they made high percentage of free throws also there is an outlier here jonathan gibson that circle is really tiny which means uh, he did not score many points probably he played less but whatever he played there he had a better percentage of two point shots made as well as three point shots made throughout 2017-2017 season gibson made just 34 points and had an average of 72.7 in percentage two point shots made and average of 50 in percentage of three point shots made but when the total score is so low so these percentages uh, could be misleading but you can see in terms of total number of points uh, during the season Kyrie had more than 1400 and Tatum had more than 1100 so in comparison in Golden State Warriors Kevin Durant had almost 1800 points Clay Thompson more than 1400 and so on so this was a quick video to show how we can compare NBA teams and nba players using this kind of scatter plot i hope you found uh, this interesting and hope to see you soon mm -hmm.